Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Forotech. So, first Android 12 L base x86 project Bliss OS 15 was released by the team Bliss. Heads up to these developers who are doing the great job to create the x86 based Android OS project for the PC, which brings the new life to your old PC with the test of Android. Remember, this is the beta build, so you may face lots of the bugs. But I have tested it thoroughly and lots of the things are working. Still, if you are interested to test this, how Android 12 l looks on the PC, you can test it as a temporary installation on your USB pen drive. So without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. We need one USB 2.0 pen drive. Now connect it to the PC. Here I am doing the installation of Android 12 n on my HP laptop and will run it on the different laptop. So here I first connected it to the HP Lappy. Now download the ISO project file. Also download and install the RefXCXE on your PC. Open it. Under the device tab, please check your connected pen drive is visible or not. Here it's a USB Lappy in my case. Then tap select and choose the ISO file. You can change the partition scheme to the MBR or the GPT and just click the start button. Flashing process will start. It will take some time. Once you get ready message, just close the window and power off your PC. Here I will boot Android x86 on another lappy, so I will remove the pen drive and will connect it to my Lenovo lappy. In your case, if you are booting on the same PC, then keep it connected. Now power on the device. While booting, repeatedly press the F12 key till you will see the boot menu. This boot menu key will be different for the different PC models, so check your device boot menu key in a Google search. Once you see the boot menu, search your pen drive name. Here it's USB HDD Sandex in my case. Now enter. You will see the new menu for the live or the permanent installation of Android x86. So we will do the permanent installation at the end of the video. First we will see is this build is good for the permanent installation or not by using the live video option. Select it and enter. Finally we will see the Android x86 boot animation on the screen. First, we will get the Android setup process screen that we get in every Android phone. While setup, I connected my mouse and it's working fine without the issue. I recommend you to use the mouse instead of the laptop touchpad because it will helpful for the easier scrolling and the selection. Once installation gets completed and we see the pop-up for the default launcher for this OS here on my laptop, I got the weird screen error. Maybe it's because of the graphics glitch that my laptop not supporting. You may not face this if you have the latest PC with the high specifications. If you face this, you need to blindly set the default launcher. We get the two launcher here, quick step and the smart dog. But I didn't like both of them, so I log into my Google account in the Play Store to download the launcher launcher. Here I want to tell you the OS comes with the pre-installed all the Google applications. I downloaded the launcher launcher and set the icon pack to the round shape. This gives me the pure Android look like the smartphones. We can set the launcher launcher as the default launcher inside the settings application and under the default applications. We can access the quick setting panel by swiping down from the top of the screen. Here we get the Android 12 style quick setting panel. To access the app door, just swipe up from the left corner. If you want the Android 12 clock widget, you need to install the Google clock application from the Play Store. Once it's get installed, go to the home screen, long press and select the widgets and select the clock widget and add it on the home screen. This will give very attractive look to the home screen. We can add the multiple quick setting tile by using the edit icon in the quick setting panel. We also get the power and the setting quick setting shortcut icon in this panel. Now let's jump to the settings. Here we can see the new setting app with the new Android 12 look of the new setting panel. If you go to the about tablet, we get the Android 12 material you clock Easter egg after repeatedly pressing on the Android 12 number. Android security patch is of 5th March 2022. Kernel is 5.2070 and this ROM supports the OpenGL version of AMD CPU. This is the latest build of 16 March 2022. So to remove this old style navigation keys, we need to go to the settings system and the navigation gestures. Here we can set the new Android 12 based navigation gesture by using this we can swipe from the bottom and hold at the center to access the new Android 12 recent screen and swipe back from the corner to go back. If we long press on the recent screen app we get the split left and the freeform mode. In the freeform mode 
we can resize the app window or move it to the any side. Most of the applications like the Gmail, Google Calendar, Play Store are working good without any issues. Let's check the Wi-Fi, it's working as already I connected it and installed lots of the application in the PC, here we didn't get any issue. But the Bluetooth connection seems broken, I don't know about the GSM based cellular windows laptops or the tablets, whether the network working or not. Camera is also broken in the OS. I also tried to use a third party camera app from the Play Store but it is not working. I also tried the game app Temple Run. It's also not work. It opens but I can't able to play any gameplay. Maybe it will work for the other games. So you can check if any other game will work. Let us know in the comment section. I downloaded and installed the YouTube to check the audio and the video playback with the changing resolution up to the 180p. So both are working good, no issue here at all, here is a sample. Under the display tab setting, we guess the dark mode, it's working perfectly. In the display size tab, if we change the display size to the smallest one, who gets the Android 12 L quick access dock at the bottom but it's causing some lag so I disabled it again. Color mode setting is available but it's not fully implemented till now. If you set the screen lock to the device there we can see the new pattern of Android 12 L but the lock screen is not working in the OS. Even if you set the lock screen pin or the password and keep the device in the sleep mode. Let's check the material you monitor themes working or not. OS doesn't comes with the wallpaper and theme app, so we'll change the wallpaper from the launcher home screen. After applying the new wallpaper, whole theme of the lappy got changed and it will give the amazing look to the tablet or the PC. We can change the multiple clock styles on the home screen and each time they got theme with the new wallpaper based themes. This is all about the new Android 12 L x86 project and it's in a beta stage so you may feel the lags and the jitters in the animations. Also some apps will still not work properly, but as per the beta update, they are very minor bugs and can be used as a daily driver if you are Android enthusiastic. If you want the permanent installation on the hardware, you keep the pen drive connected to the PC. You also need to create a separate partition of your desired size on the hard drive. There are lots of the videos available for that in YouTube, you can prefer that. Now power off the device and again power it on. While booting, repeatedly press the boot menu key. From the boot menu, select your desired pen drive. From the new menu, select the Android x86 permanent installation on the hard drive option. Now it will ask you to where do you want to install the new OS. So I already done the partition of 180GB. I will select that. After selecting the file, it will ask for the file system. You need to select the ext4 partition and format the partition. Then select the S for the all the prompts and it's done. Finally, it will format the partition and install the new OS on the hard drive. This process will take 15 to 20 minutes. Once done, remove the pen drive and boot your new OS from the boot menu as we previously shown you. So that's it guys. If I help you, please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon to get the notification of new content because now I will create the lots of the new videos on the Android for the PC. So see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.